Hello, welcome to Hint of Lavender. So today we are doing the easiest appetizer. I think it's super appropriate to have just an easy appetizer for Thanksgiving because we're already scrambling to do everything else. Um, but I do think it's really great to have um, an appetizer so that while things are cooking, people are still eating because they're smelling all the goodness and then they get hungry in this way. It kind of takes the pressure off because it's like, oh, we fed you, chill out for a minute. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to share something that was just super easy, simple, so that you didn't have to like stress about it because one less thing to stress about. So um, to make this, all you've got to do is you need to buy crostinis. So um, this is like a garlic herb and then super simple you buy your favorite jam and what i suggest is because you're basically like you're not really making this you're kind of assembling it so i would highly suggest buying like a better jam um this one is a cherry jalapeno jam so it's not like like get something that's kind of like in the cheese area the deli area where um it's like a specialty jam so there's good peach ones um apricot um Oh my gosh, just the smell of this. Cherry, jalapeno, it's the bomb. Okay, so as you can tell, because we've already eaten half of it. So super simple, all you do is you take your jam and you just want to get a good glob of it on your crostini. I kind of like to smear it down with the spoon. I mean, you can obviously use a knife, but why use a knife when you're using a spoon? I think of that Alanis Morissette song. 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. Okay, um, one last scoop. Um, sorry, it's a sing-along today. I know you love it. Okay, um, so, okay. So you put the jam on. Super simple, right? Then, just to make it a little more elevated, make it a little fancy-wancy, um, I'm gonna add some some fresh herbs. I am big on herbs. I have a lot of um, planted herbs, one of which is this basil. And all you simply do is just literally stick it right on the jam. Then I also have rosemary, which I like. So you can take two of the rosemary sprigs and just kind of stick it on there. I like to do like a little cross effect. I mean, it looks super duper fancy. The last thing you can do is um, add a little piece of cheese and it's all about how you slice it. So oftentimes I will just take it like they're just like slice a piece up. That looked very Halloween-ish, um, Jason. So, okay, so you just have like your triangle of cheese, right? Let's elevate it again. So basically you're just gonna wanna take it and cut a little strip like that, okay? So that was kind of cheating because mine fell in half but you're gonna to wanna to just cut the ends off to make it look nice. And then have fun with it. You can either just put like one right there in the middle or you could take two and kind of cross it over. I'm gonna stick with the one. So then people have options that like if they want it, you know, the cheese, they like the cheese. If they're trying not to do cheese, they can go with the herb. But look at how nice and fancy that was. And it literally took me seconds to do. Um, another just time-saving thing, what you could do is just lay out the crostinis have the jam right there in front and then have like your toppings in three different uh, little bowls next to it so they can just kind of make their own. That way you can just put it down on the table and say, have at it people and you don't have to worry about assembling it. So that's another reason why I like this appetizer. So I hope that you try these crostinis as your appetizer for this Thanksgiving, simply because it's going to take a lot of stress off of you and make it so that you enjoy your Thanksgiving because that is what the holidays are all about. I know we get up in our heads about needing to make everything perfect and have everything look, you know, Instagram worthy. And that's fine, but please, please remember, that's like the second goal. Your first goal should be to have fun. And so I hope that this takes a little bit of that stress off you and um, that you really truly enjoy your Thanksgiving this year.